welcome to our Epiphany Sunday online service. We are just so grateful to all within our team who are making it possible to come to you this morning from St James Church. This service was pre-recorded to make sure that all the elements of carols and readings can be incorporated together. We're grateful to all members of St James Church family, hope for certain volunteers and music team for making this service possible. Our opening response is, People of God, arise, shine, for your light has come. The light of Christ has come into the world. Emmanuel, God with us. So arise, shine, for your light has come. And we will follow the light when it shines brightly in the night sky, when it glows dimly on the horizon. We will follow the light when it leads down familiar paths to expected destinations. When the road is unfamiliar and the star rests above a dubious looking home, there Mary gave birth to Jesus, called God with us. Welcome the light. We will lift up our eyes and look around. And when we see the Christ child, may our hearts be overwhelmed with joy. When we are in the presence of Emmanuel, may our knees bend in worship. And when our journey brings us finally to the heart of God, may our hands open in generous sharing. May our mouths open in generous praise. Amen. This morning our first hymn, Hail to the Lord's Anointed, is perhaps the most well-known hymn by James Montgomery. It fits well with the season of Christmas and Epiphany, during which we wait for God's justice and vision to be realised in the Christ child. The hymn's words take on refreshed power if we also recall the issues against which Montgomery fought, which included slavery. This year, as we continue to fight against this global pandemic and in the midst of our losses and loneliness, in this hymn, James writes of God in Christ. He comes to break oppression, to set the captive free. He comes with succour speedy to those who suffer wrong, to help the poor and needy and bid the weak be strong. So let's uh, sing our opening hymn together. Hail to the Lord's anointed. Right. 
Forgive us, Holy One. Strengthen our faltering steps and guide us in your holy way of peace. Amen. And we receive God's forgiveness. Lift up your eyes. See the grace of God. Pour out into your lives. The light of God shines through the darkness. Our hearts rejoice for Christ is in our midst. Amen. Let us listen to our Christmas and Epiphany anthem sung by Andrew Clayton and Rachel Cooper. Yeah. 
And the collector's special prayer for today. Creator of the heavens, who led the Magi by a star to worship the Christ child, guide and sustain us that we may find our journey's end in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll listen to our scripture reading from the book of Isaiah, read by Jesse Chichero. Our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 60, beginning at verse 1. The ingathering of the dispersed. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather, they come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurse's arm. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young camels of Midian and Ephah, all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense, and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Jesse, for reading our scripture this morning. And a big thank you to you and your team in offering more than a thousand Christmas season meals within our community. And so let us receive our Gospel reading. It's from the Gospel of Matthew, read by Simon Ward, who's the chair of Sutton Town Council and is a member of St James Church family. Alleluia, alleluia. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The visit of the wise men. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is shepherd to my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, Bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And, having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Thank you, Simon, for bringing our Gospel this morning. And a big thank you to you and to your leadership and support with the hope for such a work. And so let us pray. Lord, this is your word. We are your people. Open the words to our hearts as we open our hearts to your living words of light 
and life. Amen. When I was a skier, we had a saying, no guts, no glory. We were always about to take the plunge down a big mountain, and it was scary sometimes. This epiphany reflection today is about our identity and how we identify with the Christ child. And so it's a case of no glory, no power, no identity. The words of this reflection come from the Incarnation Meditation by Johnny Barker. Emmanuel, God with us. Through torn sky, shepherds spy heaven singing, and through this wound God falls into hay, screaming. Only astrologers scan out of depths to follow this bright traje trajectory, burning up in my atmospheres, cold vacuums resisting God's re-entry. Christ, in very nature God, stripped of all vestures of deity. No glory, no majesty, no power, no knowledge. Abandoned by heaven, the Almighty become so small as to be born human, receives gifts, the first reminders, suggestions of an identity. The saviour of the world, born in a two-bit village, in a cave under the family home. Ostracised by his ancestors, his mother shamed, ignored by the religious, recognised only by farmhands and foreign astrologers. We welcomed God in the same way we dispatched him, deserted by friends, rejected by the godly. Abandoned by God, helpless, exposed to the elements, and only two people to recognise him, a thief and an occupying soldier, the underclass, the foreigner. In birth Christ was offered three gifts, gold for a king, frankincense for a god, and myrrh for a mortal. In birth Christ was offered three gifts, but in death all gifts were refused. In death Christ becomes gift. Where are we this Christmas? Are we magi? searching in strange places for signs of God? Are we offering gifts, unaware of their deeper meanings? Are we the establishment, trying to shut out what we fear? We are all of these, and we are called to become the faithful wanderer, to become the body of Christ, freely accepting gifts, living and dying to become a gift for others. Spoken and heard in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now receive our prayers of intercessions. So prayers for the community are offered by Alison Pratt, who is a volunteer of Hope Helpline and a member of St James Church family. Let us pray to God, who is made manifest in Jesus Christ. When I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond by saying, hear our prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. As the prophet Isaiah rang out, Arise, shine, for your light has come. Empower your church, O God, to ring out the good news of the light of your Son, Jesus which pierces even the deepest darkness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. As a star rose high into the nighttime sky to draw the nations to the Christ child, 
Send your blessing, O oh God, on this nation and every nation, and draw the whole world to your peace and truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Like the Magi who travelled from afar to bring gifts and celebrate the Saviour's birth, we pray for this community and for those who celebrate their own birthdays and anniversaries, especially in the month of January. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As Jesus climbed the mountaintop and proclaimed blessings on the people of the world, we pray for the sick and the distressed, the poor and the lame. We especially pray for also those who are unwell. We pray for Ivy Birchall, Elizabeth Brewer, Jill Clifford, Bryony e. Smith, Joan and Roy Cash, Pam Platts, Hannah Giles, Margaret Hill, Beryl Ralston, Peter Greenfield, Doris Griffiths, Miriam Howell, Evelyn Busby, Christine Harding, John Simpson, Anne-Marie Mitchell, and Margaret Howard, and any others known personally to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, whose radiance filled this world with comfort and joy, give the glory of your resurrection to all who rest in you. We give thanks for the lives of those who have died and pray for the family and friends of Patricia Maitland, Ken Dawson, Brian James Arthur, Eileen Turner, Robert John Hodgkinson, Audrey Rene, and Joan Perkins. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, before whom the wise men knelt, give humility and wisdom to all who govern. Bless our local council and our MP and all who serve in public office. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We bring all our prayers together with this prayer. Lord Jesus, light of the world, hear our prayers and make us reflections of your light, that the places of darkness in our world would be pierced by your light and that all nations would be drawn to you and be overwhelmed with joy. Amen. Thank you, Alison, for these prayers. God bless you and your family. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So let us sing our final carol this morning. See amid the winter snow.
and the blessing. May this holy season be for each of us a time of moving beyond what is reasonable and toward the star of wonder. Moving beyond grasping tight to what we have, to unclenching our hands and letting go, following the light where it leads. May the transforming acceptance of Mary and Joseph, the imagination of the shepherds, and the persistence of the wise men guide us as we seek the truth, always moving toward the divine promise, always aware God can be hidden in the frailest among us, always open to the unexpected flash of grace, to the showing forth of that love that embraces us all. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. As we journey through Epiphany season, Jesus Christ journeys with us. May the love of God be our guiding light and our shining star, both now and forevermore. Amen.